Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. Um, it is, what day is it? It's Monday, start of the week, I've been to work, Jamie's still at work. Speaking of which, she's just texted me. And it, I, I kind of broke up in a way for Christmas from my illustration. So I've just finished my last portrait, um, last two actually. It's getting warm now. I'm in my Christmas pyjamas, oh yeah. When I get in from work now, I'm like, if I haven't got to go out for the rest of the day, I'm like, pyjamas. <laughs> Can't breathe today. Um, and all I've got to do is a couple of presents for people that I'm doing for Christmas. I thought, you know what, I'm going to treat myself because I've been working really hard. I haven't bought any clothes in so long. Like, when we go car booting and charity shopping, I'm like buying clothes like most weeks because they're a pound or two pound, three pound. It's just, it's nothing, is it? It's like less than dinner sometimes, especially car boots. I can get stuff for 50p. So I've had a bit of withdrawal symptoms from buying clothes. So I have to treat myself because Christmas is coming up as well. I don't have an outfit and I know I'm not getting any clothes for Christmas. So I'm going to buy myself some. So I needed to pick up my little Mitchum little deodorant. I've been searching for this one for about the past two weeks. I've had deodorant guys, it's, it's been fine. But I've had like the, the roll on, but this is the gel version. So you turn this and then like gel comes out. This is so much better than like the powdery roll on and so much better than the liquid roll on. It's like the spray, liquid roll on, the powder roll on and the gel. The gel roll on, I can last 24 hours and I'm good to go. Like it's got 48 hour protection and I mean if I didn't sleep it'd be fine. But yeah, really amazing Mitchum is. I've got that. I picked up a random bit of <laughs> smellies for the bathroom because we don't have any plugs for the bathroom. And I didn't really want to put anything battery in there because like the water and stuff. Because Jamie gets the water everywhere. And it's a small bathroom and no air safe. So I thought I'd get this and I think you just turn it and then it, like that's a lot and I think it must last a few days. I don't think it has um, the amount of days but yeah. It'll just smell nice and I want my house to smell nice. So I went into Primark, that stuff was from Savers. Oh, if you're interested in the price, this was 3 99 I normally pick them up in home bongs for £2. If you ever see this for £2, pick it up because that's cheap for it. This was 99p. So that and 99p is probably going to last about two months I'd say. Bargain. So yeah, I went to Primark and bought just like a basic little vest. I haven't got any of these. I normally go for like the string vest, but I thought I'd try this one. It was £2.50 and I've gone for the 4 to 6 because these types of tops seem to come up really um, big. So yeah, went for the 4 to 6. Normal size like 8 to 10. So. If you need to know. Um, I got, this was a splurge. I never spend this amount on clothes. Like, this is crazy for me. But this cup was £10. Guys. £10. But it's so cute. And it's got a little slit. I will try this on for you guys later. But it's so cute. I need to try it on to make sure it fits. Because I tried on the 6 and it was a bit too tight. So I'm hoping the 8 is fine. But yeah, it was £10. Full price. I never pay full price. But I know certain things in Primark seem to always sell out. Or I'll never go in the sale. So if you can pick up a piece like that. Then I don't kind of feel bad about it. Because I know that there's no chance that's going to the sale. It's too nice. I also, we went to Worcester Market um, a few weeks ago, I think it was two Sundays ago with Jamie's nan and family and I saw this bag while we were in Primark and I was like, oh no no, and I was like, oh it's cute and I've always wanted a little, uh, what they call bum bag, but like a formal kind of bum bag so when I'm out and about when I don't want to take my handbag because I like, rarely need to take that amount of stuff and just put this round my waist and it fits my phone perfectly. It's got like a nice little lock. There's no zip pocket in, which that's why I was on an R ring. So I was like, what's the point if it hasn't got a zip pocket? But like fits my phone, like it's gonna fit my purse with my card and stuff. And that's all I need most of the time if we're just going on a quick run to the shops or whatever. So it's got this really nice belt, really chunky. And it's also got a little strap. So if I ever want an evening bag, I've also got an evening bag. No, it's only six quid. I was like, again, I probably couldn't buy that in a charity shop for that. So I got that. And then I got some more of these um, little cotton pad things. If you can see. 
happier. They're only £2. Reusable cleansing pads, 100% natural, made with bamboo and cotton, and they're also vegan. And then the cool things about these, where does it say? You just pop them like in the machine, like once you're done with them, you can just pop them back in this bag. Once you fill the bag, pop it in the washing machine. And you can wash it up to 40, but I always wash on 30 for like the environment and stuff. Um, so yeah, like you just keep reusing them. And I thought for Primark for two quid, like it's amazing. I've been searching for these online. I'm sure they're about a tenner for like patterned ones. I didn't want patterned ones. I just wanted plain, proper natural. Even this is 100% paper, um, recyclable. And, you know what I mean? So they haven't gone and use like a plastic tank for I care about these things. <laughs> then I went in the underwear section looking for some pants and they were doing the normal packs of pants that I have for a pound. Four pairs of pants for a pound. I mean I had to pick up two pairs didn't I? So that's eight pairs of pants for two pound. They're normally two pound for a pack of four. So again really good. 100% cotton pants, can't go wrong can you? Brilliant. More pants for me. So that's the end of the haul, so I'll try on the skirt for you and the top. I might wear them together to be fair. And the back. Oh, a bolt. whole outfit. Whole outfit for like, what, six, seven, eight. £18.50, which is a lot for me. But it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's a treat. <laughs> I'm so bad at spending money on clothes because I like, I don't. Ugh, I feel guilty sometimes buying clothes from shops that are brand new because I'm like, it's really bad for the environment, isn't it, to like not buy secondhand. That's why I like buying secondhand a lot and it's cheap. Like, I'm not going to deny the fact that I'd rather spend less money than buy new. But yeah, there's, there's, there's a tiny bit of guilt when I buy brand new. But yeah, sometimes, you know what I mean, you have to, to you know... I <laughs> don't know what I'm trying to say, but there's just certain pieces that I really want that are fashion related that you can't find in charity shops. Like I've been looking for so long for a little slip skirt on eBay. I've been looking, it's all been like 20 quid and it's just too much for me. Um, I'm on the hunt for a nice wool coat. I've seen one in Topshop that I really like and it's 79 quid. Again, it's new, so I'm like I'm on the fence. I'm trying to look on eBay, but I know that it's one of these coats that you know it's a lifetime coat really if you take care of it because it's classic it's a nice camel buttons up yeah nice wool coat anyway does anyone else have this guilt <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like on don't you can quite see that it's just got a nice little slit there it's cute and it fits the size that it's perfect yeah it's been like that and uh, let's shut this. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think they'd all go together, but they don't look too bad. This would be such a cute little um, holiday outfit, which just went like, um, I feel like you have to be really far away to be like in a shop. Um, yeah, I suppose that. Good holiday outfit. That's why I bought this skirt. That's why I invested the money, because I thought, you know what, I can wear this in winter and I can wear it in summer. So this, walking down like, the street on holiday and then there's a winter version wait for this so this is like the winter version how i'd wear it now um yeah little top from top shot this is so itchy i've never worn this before oh my goodness i might need like a long sleeve top underneath they do them in prime for like 2 pounds 50 so i might have to pick them up but yeah this was 50p from a car boot and yeah and yeah <laughs> but yeah without the belts see what it'll look like see it's cute just tucked it in a bit have it out of the back i just love this it's so like such a little versatile versatility versatile little skirt i'm happy with that yeah but this is well itchy this must be made out of summer summer but it's cute and i feel like this this colour of skirt could go with a lot of things like white, cream, the black. I've got some black boots that so this would look so cute with. I think that's the key. If you are going to spend money on some clothes, I would think, in my opinion, you should always like think about what else you've got in your wardrobe that it can slot in nicely with. Like loads of jumpers, loads of shoes. Make sure you've got an outfit to go with. Otherwise, 
I've learned the hard way you just buy stuff and the tag just stay on for ages because I haven't thought about the um the outfit in mind but yeah love this I think I'm gonna keep it I was gonna buy it and then see what it came for but I love it so much oh there's some the Christmas day <laughs> guys I've got um Christmas Eve Christmas Day and Boxing Day off oh, I'm so happy so we can do all the family things family things that are planned I sound a bit dead so I can't breathe out my nerves at the minute guys but yeah we've got so much fun things happening like Christmas Eve we are I'm gonna put you down here yeah Christmas Eve we are going um to the what's it called Bruce Fair and we're having a full English breakfast and Santa's gonna be there so that's exciting we've got Christmas Day Christmas Day is gonna be same as normal really well, not actually. This is the first time that me and Jeremy are waking up um, on Christmas Day in our own little like house. Before that, that part was always like, a, "Oh, are we gonna wake up in my house or at your house?" And it was just a bit like, "Oh." So this year, we're gonna wake up here, and then at some point, we're gonna go to Jeremy's house to have Christmas dinner because they have like a proper all-out Christmas dinner. We never really had a Christmas dinner at my parents' house because my dad always used to work as a paramedic. So it was always like um, sandwiches, which is our kind of Christmas food. Which so I love that. So I love that we get to have like the proper, like all out Christmas and loads of meat. So much meat. So happy for that. Like all the toppings, whatever. And then we get to go to mine and have like the sandwiches, which I love. And oh my goodness, cho no, chocolate. <laughs> Christmas is nothing without that chocolate log. And I like a specific chocolate log. I can't have the cheap one. You know the cheap one that's like a mini roll but like super sized. That's not my jam. I have to have the Tesco's finest. Oh my goodness, I think it was two years ago or last year we had that. And I was like, Mom, never going back. So Mom's bought that. So happy about that. And then Boxing Day, we're going to see Jemma's Nan and we're going to have like our traditional Boxing Day celebrations and we're going just have lots of fun family time really and play ball games. We're having chips, we're having um, buns with meat. It's super exciting. I'm so excited for Christmas. It's no fun when you have to work. I mean, I've got to work the surroundings, but really didn't want to work this Boxing Day. I'm so glad that I've managed to get it off so I can spend time with family which is what it's all about especially on this first year doing a married couple got it out of here I hope you guys haven't had to work Boxing Day or Christmas Eve or anything like that because I know it's no fun at all I mean yeah hopefully I really hope I mean I'm jabbering on I'm sorry Jeremy but um I really hope in the future that retail won't have to work Boxing Day because there's really no need if everyone who owns like a company or whatever in retail obviously other things are completely different but like if they changed it Boxing Day would kind of be like the day before the all sales I don't know a lot of companies are doing it I know Aldi I think Lidl Home Bargains do it I mean and that's the way to go they know that they don't need it so I mean it just shows you who's doing well in the company so that's what I'm saying <laughs> yeah cool Lilla for trial Guys, I've just realised something. This makes my day, right? So you know this belt bag, right? We just... Oh, I bought a belt as well for six quid. <gasps> bargain. Absolute bargain. Two in one. Pick it up, guys. That's amazing. I don't know how they do it so cheap. This is our little mat. I don't think we showed you this. The Merry Christmas one. This was from Poundland. Like, how good is that? So cheap, wasn't it? No, we've only bought one. No, we bought one from Mum and Dad, I think. Did we? Yeah. Oh. I think so, anyway. I don't know. It was a few years ago, wasn't it? I think it was only last year. I think it could have been the year before. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. We just put it in storage, didn't we? Yeah. Anyway, I just put up this roof on our door. How cute. And we've put a little, put a little ribbon. And geniusly, I've just put like a little, I don't know if you can see that because I can't see that myself. But yeah, I've just put it there so you can't, so it's not going to damage the door. It looks so cute. You love it. You haven't seen it, but yeah. I absolutely love it already. I'm <laughs> seeing it. We just got that the other side. <laughs> I could. You have, you have I could. Cards, have you? Oh no! I put the cards up as well last night. 
I love, <laughs> I love those cards. They're and really cute. It reminds me of being a kid and getting a card of like everyone in your class at school. Oh. And you can like 30 cards. I used to get so anxious about that. Like, what if you didn't get a card off people? See, I, wasn't, I don't ever remember being bothered about even getting any. I just remember always needing to do them for everyone. And we'd always get the photo um, from the year. What was it called? Like the year, year photo of the whole class? Yeah. Um, and we'd go through and, and be like, okay, so uh, just because like, you couldn't really remember everyone in your class. Oh, I could. Did you actually just remember everyone? Yeah. There weren't that many people. There were only like 30 in a class. Yeah, that's a lot, man. There's 30 in a class. I probably only used to speak to about four of them regularly. <laughs> Random bits of bobs, but these are the cards that Mum made for us. This is Jamie's, obviously. It's amazing, isn't it? So cool. So where's this from? Is it from, like, uh, by the pack? Yeah, she buys them from Creating Craft. Yeah. They're probably like Crafter's Companion or something like that. I don't know what it is. That one with the train on it, I don't know if they say. No, they don't say. Yeah, they're quite cool. Bit of decoupage. Decoupage. There's a puppy one. So this is our little setup at the minute. Random assortment of bits and bobs. I love having this here. Do you love having this here? What, the title? Yeah. It's perfect. It's great because what when... I don't like having is that one round the corner. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm working on it. Working on it. But yeah, I love having it here because if I need Jamie to take some, I always put a note over his keys here. I'm like, take this parcel, please. <laughs> Post this parcel. Works great. Guys, how are you? Welcome to this video. If Stacey didn't already welcome me, which I think she did, I think she's got some clips this morning. It's a bit late on in the evening. I am all showered and in my little cosy freaking thing. I'm loving this, man. Absolutely loving it. Um, okay, so here's some stuff I'm going to show you. So t last night I did a little bit of a, a little bit of ordering, you know, for my little guitar. So this is my guitar. This is my Strat. This is called Seafoam Green. It's um <clears throat> like you know, like they only do them in certain colours. The guitars and that you can obviously spray them whatever colour you want, but that's official Seafoam Green. Anyway, I needed a new guitar cable. Yeah, this thing that links to the amp, that cable there. So I found this online, man. It's official Fender Seafoam Green friggin' cable. Look how nice it is. So I'm going to set this up in a second play. And I needed that because... I bought this today, which I was telling you about the other day. It's a loop pedal, which basically does what it says on the tin. It loops your music, so you can play a bit of rhythm, loop it, and then solo over the top. Good for practicing and that. I managed to get on for 100 quid on uh, Marketplace. Which is pretty good because I was watching a few on eBay and every time I was going to bid they just ended up going for like 140 and stuff and you know 100 quid's a good deal on that. What else did I get? I got a set of my electric strings. I, I got a standard slinky uh, 10 gauge by the way if anyone's interested. And then I got some of these which I haven't used before. These are acoustic strings. I usually use um, elixirs on my acoustics but these were like fairly cheap on Amazon. These are Ernie Balls. And they, I don't know, man, they might be good. They were, I'm going to test them because I've got my granddad's guitar. My granddad's been dead like 15 years or... Is it that long? Yeah, probably, probably about 15 years. And I've still got his guitar in the garage. Um, and I had that from before I played. Like, that was kind of the first guitar I ever messed around on. And it's all messed up in the garage. So I'm going to get it out, clean it, put some strings on it, see if it still sounds all right. I don't know if it's all going to be, like, out of whack because of being in the elements in the garage, but... I'll see, I'll clean it up, get some strings on it, see what can't be fixed. And one more thing I bought last night. You know what, this isn't even the last thing because uh, we had some great news last night, guys. In the music community, John Frusciante is joining the Chili Peppers again and my whole family are going to be sick of me talking about it because I was so excited. He's the best guitar player in the world for me. He's, he's this guy. This is, this is him. That is him. Um, uh, yeah, he's been, he's, he's joining the... Chilies. Anyway, <laughs> I bought loads of his, a couple of his albums on eBay last night because I was going to get them last week and then I just didn't. And then it got announced yesterday he's joining the Chili Peppers again. And so he's like, music's going to go probably expensive again because it's already quite expensive. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to buy them. They were fairly cheap, so I just bought them. So yeah, I had a shopping spree and then I bought this as well. A, um, a strap for my guitar. This is like a really, it's really cool, man. It's like a woven, woven thing. It's like a really hippie vibey thing yeah thing how many times can i say thing in one sentence you know i'm about to put this on my guitar and just see how it feels and that but it's nice man it's a real nice nice material 
All right, I just got this attached. There's a few things on it as well, which are quite cool, man. I've never used before. To be honest, I never really use straps with my guitars because I don't ever stand up and play, but um, I wanted one just in case I decided to. And this one came with the strap box, which are quite cool. Stops the strap just slipping off. It's just like a little rubber washer. And it comes with a little pocket there to keep extra plectrums in, like in case you lose it. So it's just there handy. That is actually really cool, man. I love it. So I've rammed a few plectrums in there. But it's toy in it. Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. Hope you're having a lovely Christmas festivities. Um, it feels Christmassy today. I don't know if it's because I'm ill again. Well, I mean I haven't got better, but I don't know. There's something about the smell of everything. Everything just seems really festive today. It did feel festive yesterday. Even though I was at work, how strange. Um, so today, I finished off all my illustrations yesterday, but I've had another order come through that I can hopefully get done by Christmas. So, I'm very thankful this year for the amount of orders I've had, especially off like people I know. It, it just feels very supportive. It's a very supportive year. <laughs> um, so today, I'm gonna organise everything. I'm gonna do the draft of that illustration, but I'm gonna organise everything and do the jobs that I've been meaning to do since I started all the new portraits. So, first task of the day is to organise my desk ready for all the new illustrations. So, let me remove everything that I can't show because there is quite a few bits of bugs I can't show. Okay, cool. Now I can show you. So, this is the state of my desk. It's not as bad as like my uh, niece and parents. Let's uh, put the big light on. Cool. I could open the blind, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna just put all the pencils back where they belong. This is for my friend's birthday. You know, get rid of tissues. Hang all the Christmas cards. I didn't realise I had Christmas cards here. Who's these off? Cute. Um, right. So I'm gonna pop them up there. I've got another string to put up again. Oh, up, up, up there. Up, up there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll put another string up basically there so it matches and I can get them up. Um, so yeah, task one is sort this lovely area. So where can I put you so you can have a little cheeky town there? Task one is complete. One tidy desk. I haven't tidied in the drawers, so they definitely don't do it, but uh, I'll do it that way in the new year. So we've got our little station I'll walk you through. These I got, I think it was two years ago for Christmas. I tried the Faber Castell Polychromos and I also tried the. Oh, what are they called? What are they called? Oh, they're really like really popular pencils. Damn it. Oh, but I'm gonna have to go with this. Okay, can't remember, but yeah. So I got a set of 12 of each, and then these were my first ones I used. I didn't really use the other ones. They begin with a P, I'm sure. Anyway, I love them so much that I invested in the 60 tin. I really want the 120 tin, but um, they're 200 quid. They were 100 quid last year, and I was like, mm, I win an R in. No, I want it. So, Faber Cassa, if you're watching by any chance, please. Send me the. I'd love the wooden set to be fair. <laughs> this is my little pro marker set up. I got all my pro markers. Normally they're all in like colour order, but when you've been drawing for a while, it just gets messed up. So this will be reset as well. Uh, my nice little uni, uni ball pens. Not gonna be able to show you. Uni pen. These are the pens I use to like outline my drawings sometimes. I feel like it. And got my nice little business cards and my mini and my bobby <laughs> i'm gonna use this as a coaster because i keep like flitting between the one that's over in the living room and keep having to bring it over but this will do nicely oh this if you're an artist or like sharp pencils this is a game changer to your life right you just you pull this out right oh and you put the pencil in and you just i mean you know what this is but like oh my goodness it's so good it gets your pencils so sharp I love pencils. <laughs> Next job on the agenda, right, is to um, demold the windows, I'd, I'd guess you call it. You know, when you get, I'll, I'll show you, easier to show you, hang on. So this is the window situation, I've got to dry all these because this is on the inside. 
but this is the stuff I'm talking about. The stuff that builds up at the bottom of these windows, unfortunately. So they're really easy to clean off. And what we've done in the other rooms, which I will show you in a sec, right? Right? Keep that in mind. We've put down silicon, which when the windows do get wet, right, right, goes onto silicon and it can't go into the groove which the glass is been placed in. So it can't get mouldy. I mean, it does get a little bit mouldy down here, not sure why, but this is like, it's amazing, such a good idea. So I need to clean it, it needs to dry, and then I'm gonna silicon, well, Jamie might do it for me, but um, we use clear silicon. Yeah, it might look a bit messy, but at the end of the day, if it stops me having to keep cleaning these windows, I'm happy. I mean, we're planning on replacing them anyway um, for next Christmas. So it's just, you know, it's like a bit of a bodge job, but it's gonna get the job done. So if you have wooden windows and you have a similar problem, could you use that? We do have a DIY um, double glazing film, which I'm sure I've told you about a million times before, but um, I haven't got around to doing it because I'm scared that the water's still gonna build up behind it, and I'm just gonna have to take it off anyway, so I'm gonna be brave, and I'm gonna do that soon. Just on like, one panel, just to test it. I wanna do every panel, because you, you imagine. Oh. So, let's clean this. <laughs> I'm so excited to get this done. This has honestly been on my list since we like, Moved in, maybe, when we did that bedroom one. Because we did the bedroom one first, and I don't know why we haven't done it. It took us ages to the kitchen. I mean, it's just such a massive job, especially when it's cold, and you don't want the windows open for ages. So, let's do this, and um, the wall's a bit mildly too. Mm. Mm. Let's, let's, let's rectify this. Ooh. First step, use this amazing karcher. This is the karcher, doesn't say. I think it's like the 50th, 30th edition, something like that, special one. But I got this for me and fits perfectly in our little windows. So, never time that's Gemma. Oh, I didn't empty it. Oh, blast. Okay, no, I've got to empty it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm back and I've changed my clothes because I won't walk that skirt yesterday. It was a bit tempting for it to use bleach with it. So. That's how I fall like it off the windows. That's, that's not pretty, that's not bad actually for that, really. So next place I'm gonna tackle are the windows. I think I'm gonna start from the bottom because I think that's the worst part. But yeah, gross. Spray you away, get rid of you. Spray the windows. Dun, 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 dun. Let's start with this panel first. My tools, I've got my gloves, my little toothbrush, and my little sponge. And that's what we're going to use to do it. Now, what can I put you on for this one? Don't you tell a single soul what I'm going to say. So, oh, I've actually slashed in, but this is what I'm left with at the minute. I'm just going to get a nice wet cloth, clean all that off, and then let it dry, and then it'll be clean. I mean, how well has that come off? I need to scrub that again, but, like, it's just mainly surface, which is great. And I've got some paint to pop on that, so, yeah. Three more windows to do, but cool. Right, so the windows are done. I forgot to get a clip of how they look. It's completely dark now, but they've pretty much come out brand new. So I'm really happy with the heat. Um, I feel so snotty now. We've got the drying of the clothes going on that can't go in the tumble dryer. Um, I've packaged up some parcels. I've had lunch. I can't believe it, but Jamie rang me and said, you haven't had lunch yet, have you? 
I mean, no. He said, you've had lunch, haven't you? And I said, uh, no. And he said, oh, I'm going to have lunch. And I looked at Tom, it's three o'clock. Honestly, thought it could have been about one. I was well confused. I was like, where's the time gone? So, I really wanted to do my um, desk today. I think I should be able to do it tonight. But I want to get that area all like, set for like the new year. Because I went home and I got some A3 paper or A2. And I want to um, make myself my own little wall chart for the what's it called 2020 wall planner <laughs> that's what i meant to say i've looked on ebay and i was trying to get like a portrait one and i wanted like a specific design i wanted it to look like a piece of art so it didn't look like a calendar if that makes any sense because i want to be able to visualize the whole year now and be able to plan stuff easier because i think the last year yeah this year just gone i feel like because i didn't have um, calendars up to like visualize anything I think I've just been like lost just been doing what's the here and now rather than thinking ah this is like wedding season let's post wedding season stuff so this is the plan for this year hopefully it will happen but when I was at home getting the paper I also found this artwork that I did ages ago this was in university we had to pick like a picture that we wanted to screen print and uh, this is the picture. I don't know why I went for this, to be honest. Could have gone for anything, but it's a little thing by Andy Warhol. And uh, if you go in close, you can see that it's uh, made up by a series of dots, and that's what like screen printing is. It's really cool. So super cool. Yeah. So it, I just love like the the rawness of it because it's not perfect. So, I want to put this up here. I think it needs to go in this gap. So I need to um, tidy all of this and get the desk set how it's going to stay. Like, oh, it could move, but I'm only going to pin this onto the wall. Because I'm not going to frame it or anything. I'm just going to keep it pretty raw. And then if I want to make a frame one day, I can. But if, I'm, if I paid for a frame for this, it'd be a bit much. And I want to keep the white around it. So I just, I don't know. I've got a few of these and I'm toying with the idea of selling them off as like limited edition prints because I think I did 10 in total. Yeah. It's not my artwork but it's my execution of the print if that makes sense because it's a magazine cover. It's not king, it's kin. <laughs> <laughs> kin to mean family. Sorry for the interruption there. Stacey thinks it's fun to laugh while I'm playing. Oh, Should we try the next verse? Now, go on. To be honest with you, so did I. I thought it was king until I've just read the lyrics and it's kin. So. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some piggy pudding Gonna cup of good cheer about <laughs> things There you go Whoa, I'm used to playing the electric so much So now I'm playing this and all the frets are bigger And I keep doing shit like that 